This conspiracy theory is that these girls and some guys, there's more girls than guys, that are working in these casinos are actually being human trafficked and forced to work. In other words, they're slaves. It's Andy here, and yeah, a conspiracy theory accusing an online casino of being involved in human trafficking is going viral all across TikTok. Okay, so there's been a lot of suspicious things about the woman dealers who work for this company. Michael, otherwise known as Ty the Crazy Guy, posted to TikTok on July 27th this conspiracy as part 124 of his series called Conspiric T Episodes. I'm not even joking, that's the real title. In the last week, this video has gained tons of attention and has since reached 1.2 million views online. And the main focus of the video is about the popular online gambling service called Rubets. Now, basically, to give some backstory, for those of you who don't know, Rubets is an online cryptocurrency only casino who prides itself on its easy and effortless nature. With around 600 games in the casino section, Rubet Casino dominates the gambling and gaming industry. As a crypto casino, you can only wager in cryptocurrency, which is great for holders of Bitcoin. If you don't know Bitcoin, go look it up. It's a whole thing. Now, it is illegal in the United States, but according to Arrow Shield, it is for no reason other than the U.S. laws against online gambling in most of the 50 states for it being, you know, illegal. But many people in the states have still gained access to the casino's website by using a virtual private network, basically known as a VPN, that hides their location. So you could appear like you're from anywhere, Europe, Asia, so on, so on, so on, so But overall, the logistics sound pretty nice, right? Like you can gamble using cryptocurrency. Well, maybe not after this conspiracy theory that zooms in on the actual dealers of the games who are primarily women. Okay, so there's been a lot of suspicious things about the woman dealers who work for this company. While Michael includes this video of a female dealer passing out during a live session, there are others very similar to this incident, which may further prove this is no coincidence. On TikTok, Michael discussed several different facets of his conspiracy theory, saying that the woman seemed very lethargic in their videos. A lot of them struggle to even stay awake, and many people believe that they are being overworked, drugged, or something in between. Next, he talks about one instance where a woman literally passes out during a live stream and she's taken away by some men workers. Now, what's very offsetting about this video to me is that a bunch of men had to come and literally drag her out, but not just her, they dragged her on her chair. And then he brings up the realistic point about the same woman who passed out was dragged while still in her chair. Which made a lot of people, including me, really suspicious that they're forcing these women to work and tying them to the chair so that they can't leave. But there's this point about a mask also being a key particular topic, which he suspects is there to hide the faces of missing girls who have been kidnapped. Now, what makes things even weirder is that most of the women do not wear masks while dealing, but there are a few women who do. Which is very weird because why only have a few women wear masks? Well, a video of this woman who did not look okay was posted on this TikTok account and someone commented that she looked just like Lauren Spearer. And if you didn't know, she's a college student who tragically has been missing since 2011. Now, this is them side by side and I honestly don't really know what to think, but I just thought I would include this since many suspect that a lot of these women may be people who are missing. And this, similar to every other conspiracy theory out there, has viewers in the comments wondering and torn if it's real or not. On one hand, one comment reads, Yes, they're fighting sleep. You know how boring it is to sit there and deal cards for hours alone? Like, I'd fall asleep too. But another person suggests how, one, they're probably overworked and tired. Two, they use the chair because it's easier than carrying a person. Three, they can wear masks if they want. LMAO. On the other hand, one comments how this is one of the few conspiracies I actually believe. Like, this is serious. Another agrees saying, I watched the videos on her page and they are eventually do lift the girl out of the chair. But regardless of the circumstances, this is not normal and not okay. Unfortunately, this is not the only story related to human trafficking and casinos in the news. Just a month ago, This Week in Asia posted a headline titled, Vietnamese being trafficked by Chinese nationals to work Cambodian casinos. And yes, this is a prevalent problem that back in April 2021, Governor Ricketts of Nebraska signed a casino anti-trafficking bill into law. So, could be an issue we're also facing in the United States, but regardless of the entire thing, this is something that is coming to light on TikTok. Again, people explaining overall conspiracy theories and things that could be potentially real. Like casino trafficking with Bitcoin gambling. It's a mouthful, but... Let us know what you think at What's Trending. Let me know if you really think this is true. 
and uh, we'll keep you updated if there's anything else we find about this. But for now, catch you later.